What happens when we die? We are buried, cremated, and sometimes donated to help others. The bodies at the Orlando Science Center may not have received a funeral, but visitors come to see them every day. Our body, the universe within, may disturb some people, but the Science Center thinks many will find it fascinating. So, you know, there have been some negative comments, not, not a formal protest, not a great deal of negative comments. Most of the feedback has been very positive, but there have been some people that feel it's inappropriate to uh, display a human body in this way. This skeleton is only one of more than 200 specimens from actual human bodies on display in the exhibit. The specimens are preserved through a process called polymer impregnation, where body fluids are replaced with a plastic that hardens to prevent decay. As you can see, this is an exhibit that really gets under your skin. They stand before us without their skin, muscles and organs exposed, more naked than any of us will ever be. Nobody knows who they are. All of the corpses were unclaimed and unidentified at the time of death. On loan to the exhibit from Beijing, China, these bodies have been dissected to show us the inner workings of our anatomy. This is only one of many traveling exhibits around the country, drawing in crowds and controversy. Things grossed me out and I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to handle it. It wasn't that way at all. One figure holding up the skin on a coat hanger, yes, maybe that was a little bit disturbing. I can't imagine my family coming to a see an exhibit like this and saying, oh, that used to be Carmen and look at her aorta. Though nobody knew them when they died, millions will know them in death. With all the success of the different body exhibits out there, controversy seems to be nothing more than a buzzword. In Orlando, Michael Vu, UCF Nightly News.